What's up guys, welcome back, uh, we're still with Shrewsbury in the Skybet League 1, as you can tell we're still uh, fighting um, to, to stay up, I think we're going to do it, because you know, it's 6 points it's six, six points clear, we should be able to keep uh, and man maintain that gap, um, but yeah, things haven't really still <laughs> gone our way, um, the, the entire season really we've had a little bit of bad luck um some yeah a lack of efficiency really in front of goal and maybe a few soft goals that we shouldn't concede we shouldn't be conceding um but yeah as you can tell in the uh in the individual stats we don't have any outstanding performers so maybe that's something to look at as well for next season um, the the league top scorers so far are uh, Luke James from Peterborough, uh, who looks a lot better than what we have running around. Uh, Frank Noble, Noble, I don't know how you pronounce that. I, I'll wager it's Noble. Um, yeah, don't have him scouted to the maximum, but he looks uh, a lot better as well. So um, yeah. I think it's down to look at that Yaya Sanogo from Millwall. Um, that's quite a oh he's on loan. <laughs> I was gonna say that's quite a transfer they made, but uh, he's on loan. Yeah, that's the sort of quality we're lacking. Really, I think I think that's the biggest problem. We're lacking some quality. Um, the average ratings, yeah, it's Luke Chain as well. Najim Abdu from. Uh, Blackpool, well, he's quite good as well, hmm. and his contract is running out, so maybe maybe that's something to someone to look at. Uh, we'll scout him. That's someone to look at look at for the uh, for the next season. Um, yeah, uh, most assists is going to Ben Reeves from the from the MK Dons. Uh, Kiefer Moore is in there from Yeovil, Dean Cox for Lorient, uh, Leighton Orient, <laughs> um, Frank Noble is in there as well for the uh, Most Player of the Match award, um, Luke James, Most Clean Sheets is for David Martin, for the Dons, right, yeah, like I say, we've, we, we lack some quality all, all, uh, all over the pitch, but um, I think it's uh, I don't want to say it's only the strikers because we do have uh, Chuba Akbom who is uh, yeah pretty good um but we we don't have that sort of quality all over all over the pitch um actually Jason Leutweiler is um I've got a bit of a problem with a couple of important players like Leutweiler he is um his contract is expiring but, and that's a big but, um, I can't offer him a new contract, I can, but there's no way I can match his wages, um, we're under a strict, uh, yeah, we're under a strict budget, uh, because we are not, we have not complied with, uh, financial fair play, so, um, yeah, we're in a bit of a problem, uh, in, a, in a, a bit of a pickle, uh, really. So I'm going to have to try and get rid of a few uh, players I'm not using who I'm eating up our transfer, uh, our wage budget. Um, I've already tried to do that a little bit. I released a few players. Actually, let's have a look at that. Transfer history going out. Yeah, Anthony Griffith, he was really unhappy. Um, Nathan Mills as well. Oh, he's yeah, he's on alone. I thought. thought so Mark Ellis. I don't know if I showed you guys this before, but uh, Mark Ellis is gone. He was just sitting there eating away at our uh, wage budget, and he wasn't playing. And he was moaning all the time about not playing. Um, 
Anthony Griffith, he was moaning about getting a fine. Uh, after, I think I told you guys about this after he got his, uh, his second red card. I gave him a in a short in a short time. Um, I gave him a fine, and he was really unhappy about that. Keep, kept on moaning and and just you know disrupting the uh, the dressing room. So I uh, I put him in my reserves team for a while. He didn't calm down. He didn't cool down at all. So I just uh, I just got rid of him. Um, and James Caton, who is uh, abysmal, really. So um, yeah, I let him go as well. Right. So that's uh, pretty much it. I'm gonna do a live com for you guys now. No, actually, let's <laughs> have a look at the schedule first. I, um, as you can tell, form has not improved. The last game you guys saw was uh, this Oxford game in the last episode. Live combed uh, two one, really good game, um, with goals from Jordan Clark and Joe Scotts, and an injury for Jordi Ortega. We've had a lot of injuries this uh, season. Then we had, um, yeah. A bit of a result, I'd, I'd say. Swindon aren't the uh, aren't the worst team in the world, so um, a two-all draw away from home. I thought that was pretty decent. Chuba Akpom uh, with two goals for us there. Walsall, yeah. Again, it's just we're losing by one goal. Um, it's it's happened a lot this season. Uh, I'm not sure. A lot of the time we didn't deserve to lose it. Yeah, again this this. Really, we didn't deserve to lose this game. Um, it's just a lack of efficiency combined with soft goals, really. But uh, we made up for it in our next home game against Southend with a 4-1 uh, victory due to uh, goals from Jonathan Teixeira, James Collins with a penalty goal and, uh, and another goal in the 85th minute and Jordan Clark scoring as well. But then we lost again. We have not. Let's see. We have. It's. It's been a hell of a long time uh, since we've had two victories, um, two consecutive consecutive victories. Uh, so yeah, we've really been struggling to uh, to get something going in the league this season. Um, yeah. So after that four-one victory, we lost to to Scunthorpe. 1-0, Joe Scott's picking up a red card for us right after we uh, conceded the 1-0, which wasn't good. Um, again, uh, this was a very close uh, game, a very closed game as well. Um, not many chances, we didn't play particularly well, but they didn't either, so a yeah, bit of a dull game that one. 2-0 against Bradford was the next one, James Collins and Chuba Akpom on the score sheet. Um, Christopher Rutis, I think, yeah, uh, made things a bit easier for us in the 17th minute. So um, then Swindon in the Johnson's Paint Trophy final, uh, South final, um, the first leg, yeah, horrible, absolutely horrible. Looking at it, we didn't really deserve to lose. Again, it was a really dull, dull game, and they just scored. Um, they were very efficient. They scored twice. We had at least as many, uh, at least at least as much uh, to say. You know, we we. Uh, I'm not making any sense. Anyway, um, yeah, that should have been a draw, really, that game. Then we uh, lost again <laughs> to the MK Dons, um, one nil again, and again looking at that. That's a very close game, and it should have been. Uh, yeah, we sh we've not been we've we've lacked that just that little bit of a, of touch to to swing those games in our favor, and it, it's just it's frustrating. Um, so let's hope we can uh, we can change that next season. Uh, Doncaster two all. Luke Williams with two goals for us there. I think this was another game we should. Oh no, yeah, this. Uh, <laughs> Just recently we've had, maybe it's this one then. Yeah, it's probably this one. 2-1 um, defeat. Yeah, look at that. Nine shots for Swindon. 26 for us. We've had 11 shots on target. And if we look at 
the match stats here. I mean, we've had six. We've hit the hit the, wood, the woodwork six times. Six times we've got. We've had three click. I'm not. Can't even talk now. Um, we've had three clicker chances. I mean, how we lost this game is beyond me. I mean, um, I would have been fine winning the game, but not going through. But losing this game was really tough. Um, yeah, I didn't think that was fair at all. But yeah, that's life. That's football. The best team doesn't always win. So let's try and, uh, and make up for it against uh, Barnsley now. What do you say, guys? Uh, let's get straight into it. Alright, so this is the tactic I'm going to go with. Um, I'm probably going to take off James Weslowski for David McAllister. Weslowski is knackered. Connor Clifford. Do we have a backup striker to put on there? Yeah, James. Oh, well, we've already got Scott Vernon. Hmm. Yeah, this is probably the way to go. I'm sorry, I'm a bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Weird. I have to. I have to have these in the in in the right. Order. I don't know if a few guys do this, but I always put them like in in the order of of their positions. Um, anyone else? No, I think everyone's up for it. Jermaine Grandison has featured in pretty much every game since the last episode. Um, might go with George Green instead of Jordan Clark. Yeah. See how that goes. He hasn't started a game in a while because he was injured. Um, so I think that's going to be it. We've got it on counter. The counter mentality. Fluid team shape and these instructions. That's what we used against Swindon last time out. So um, that worked out pretty well. Oh, um, just noticed I can only have five lone players in there. Hmm. Who I got? Who am I gonna take off? Toast Scott can play here, and then Ben Davies. Uh, he's gonna come off on Nathaniel Knight Percival, right? Uh, so yeah, we used this tactic against Swindon in the uh, in the away game. I've got we've got an away away game again. Uh, the opposition isn't quite as tough as Swindon, or it shouldn't be. Um, let's see. Yeah, tell them to impress me. Uh, they shouldn't. I mean, they should be beatable. They're twenty third, I think, in the league. But oh, let me pause that. And yeah, get rid of the sound. Yeah, we should be able to win this game. Um, so it's only the second time I've used ooh, this tactics, but um, I don't know it really worked quite well against Swindon. Um, yeah, I'm hoping it uh, it it does again. But we're not off to a great start. Neither are uh, Barnsley. They've got an injury. Uh, position seems to be fairly evenly distributed in these early stages of the game. But all of the chances are going to uh, Barnsley. So that's not good. Come on guys. Right, so here we go. Me nope. Here come Barnsley again. Oh, but McAllister is there to pick it up. Aaron Vildick, Green. Come on, Joe Scott, bring it in. Oh, Chuba Akbom. Nearly got the first shot for us there, but it was offside, so it's not even going to count as a uh, as an attempted at goal. Ooh, 
All right, let's. Oh, I was gonna say let's counter, but we are not doing anything at all. What a dull game again. Hmm. Gonna have to switch tactics uh, at half time, I think. It's a bit strange. I could, I could switch tactics right now, really. Uh, but there's always something, you know. <laughs> You don't want to dis disrupt the uh, disrupt the tactics in the middle of uh, of the first half. I don't know. I don't know. In any case, let's hope we can uh, make it to half time at nil nil. Clearly, we cannot. I don't need to see that again. And I'm going to shout at my players. Pretty sure my tactics have something to do with it as well, but can't shout at my tactics, so I can shout at my I can shout at myself, but right. So um, let's try and go for control. Take the tempo down a bit. Um, push a bit higher up. I'm playing wider anyway. Yeah. I think that should do it. Let's see. Jimmy Grandison is gonna pick up a yellow. Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's at least get one shot. Oh, we already had one shot apparently. It was uh, on the woodwork. Right, come on. Countering. Jermaine Grandison. This is a good chance. Come on, whip it in. Wildick! Oh, no, maybe I should. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if this bothers you, but I really like uh, to keep an eye on things um, that way. I mean, in this particular game it's quite obvious that we've not done a lot of productive stuff um, so far but in other games it can be quite tight and you know it can be uh, important to take a look especially at these passing stats as well to see where things are going wrong um, at the moment things are going wrong everywhere <laughs> but we managed to score see this is uh, this is good to see for me. I mean, it's a reversal of what we've had the entire season. Um, we've only had two shots, and we've scored. So this is good. This is progress. <laughs> uh, I just have to hope that they don't score again, and that we can perhaps increase our goal tally uh, even further. Yeah, but we're really not doing well. It's probably the worst performance we've had the entire season. You just watch us. We're going to win this game. <laughs> that would be uh, very ironic. Ooh, nearly there. Right, so um, I'm going to make some changes. Might have to make some uh, tactical changes again as well. Uh, let's see, Aaron Vildic is quite tired, but he's playing you know, decently as compared to the rest of them. I'm going to put Scott Vernon on there. I would say I'll put Jordan Clark on, but yeah, I'll put Jordan Clark on, why not? And Connor Clifford for McAllister, I think. Although, Ryan Woods would be a good uh, good possibility as well. And on the other, on the other hand, Grandison is tired and playing badly, so we'll put Woods on there. Um, 
let's have a look at Barnsley's average positions. Uh, that's a bit weird. Uh, who's on the pitch and who is not? So number 23. Oh, come on. Seven, three, and four around there. Three and four and seven. I'm guessing 28 is off. My mouse is all over the place. Uh, yeah. Interesting. So, and number 11, he is still on there. Right, okay. The uh, problem is we don't have any white midfielders. That's... We just don't. We can't, we can't play with white midfielders. We're going to play wider. Pass into space. Um, what's our passing like? Not too great. Uh, the pitch isn't too great either. So I'm probably better off playing more direct passing. Um, not work the ball into, sp uh, into the box. Pass it into space, play out of defense, yeah. High tempo, let nah. Reluctant to use that on this uh, on this pitch. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, that's what you get, isn't it? Thought the uh, team talk was getting repetitive. That's the problem you get when you, uh, well, yeah, when you repeat the same team talk a lot. Right. Now, are we going to score right before the uh, <laughs> the substitutions are made? We almost did. Right. For the last ten minutes, I think I'm going to go with an uh, attacking mentality. Seem to be picking ourselves up a bit. Yeah, looking at the shots in the second half, that's pretty. That's pretty even. Okay, come on. Oof. Okay, so let's uh, let's put this on attacking, and let's motivate motivate our uh, our guys. Come on. Come on, fellas. Right, can we do something with this? No. It's gonna come back at us. Uh, oh, that's good goalkeeping. Really good goalkeeping from uh, Jason Lloyd Violet. And I think that's gonna be it. Yeah, it's gonna be a draw. Maybe. Last chance? No. It's gonna be a draw. Hmm. Yeah, well, since it's an away game. Nah, it's great. Wasn't good enough. Yeah, I don't care, mate. You look stressed. That does take us up uh, into 17th, ironically. Um, yeah, so realistically, where do you think you, where do you think we can, uh, we can finish? Um, do you think we're going to stay up? Uh, if you do, where do you think we'll finish? We are currently, um, yeah, we're now, mm, what is it, seven points? Seven points ahead of the uh, of the relegation uh, zone. And we are two points behind six, 16th and four points behind 15th. I don't think we'll, uh, we'll manage any higher than 15th, but perhaps 15th is still possible. Uh, if we can finally get some sort of form going, um, yeah, that's going to be it for me now. I'm probably going to play until the end of the season, and then we'll do a uh, an end of season roundup. Unless you know it comes down to like in the last few games for us to stay up, uh, but I don't think so. So um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of the season so far. Do you think uh, there's any improvements uh, that can be made? Um, yeah, 
See you guys in the next episode. Bye.